Hi there. I'm back. Um, took a couple days off uh, fixing a or, or getting a, a new computer all ready to go and that didn't take very long but I then was behind on everything else I had to do so I apologize for the um, delay in getting you uh, more information. We're on the uh, content, adding content portion of uh, the program and I just want to give you a high level uh, you know, overview of what I do to create content. And typically what I advise people to do and what's worked for me through my experience with my own sites and other people's sites is to have a good amount of content on a site before I try to monetize it, before I insert ad, uh, AdSense ads, before I put affiliate offers up there. All right. So my, my formulaic approach to this is to say we have... 31 pages of content on our website before we start inserting ads and before we start putting affiliate offers on there. Now, why 31? It seems like a very arbitrary number, and it kind of is. What I do is, on my home page, I want to optimize that page. That page is all about my primary keyword. For this site that we're doing in, in this example, which is you know, Podcast 101, my primary keyword is podcasting. Makes sense, right? If I had all the time and money in the world and resources, I would want to rank number one on Google for this site for the term podcasting. Now, it's not going to happen. Um, I don't have all the time and money and resources in the world. We're trying to get these things out one a week. Um, so that's that's where I want all of my content that, that filters up to that home page to um, build on and, and boost that homepage for podcasting. You're going to get into, you know, very niche type uh, markets where there's not going to be a lot of competition and you could easily dominate or rank very well quite a few of your pages on the first page of the, of the SERPs, search engine uh, uh, ranking pages. Um, but I'm not going to be. I'm not trying to do that with this one. But I am trying to get ranked for my secondary keyword phrases and my tertiary keyword phrases, which is where the other 30 pages come in. So for that one page, my home page, I then have five secondary keyword phrases that I want to rank for, and those are pages that I'm creating in WordPress. I'm not creating any posts yet, and I probably won't create any posts for these because posts are more topical and time relevant. And what we're trying to do here is create evergreen content because we're not going to have time and we're not going to go back in and, you know, add content to these uh, sites over time. We're going to basically build the site, um, add content, monetize it, and go to the next one and, and repeat over and over and over again. The whole idea here is to get 50 or 52 uh, websites out a year where we make three, where we net three dollars a day, which means one hundred and fifty dollars a day, for essentially doing a few minutes, a few hours worth of work. Now, so those five secondary keywords that I rank for are going to be pages, and uh, then I'm going to have five tertiary keywords that I want to rank for for each of those secondary keyword phrases. So I'm going to have five secondary keyword focused pages, and I'm going to have 25, five for each, uh, tertiary keyword phrases that I want to optimize for. So you've got 25 plus 5 plus 1, your home page. So that's 31. That's why. Now, can you start with one? You sure could. Um, I don't recommend it. Um, but if you're strapped for time, go go for it. You're just not going to maximize uh, your, 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 your dollars. You're, and you're probably not going to get $3 a day unless you luck into something or you've done a lot of really good research and you know exactly what you're doing and you're in a market that has high demand and low supply. <laughs> I mean, that could happen. Um, the web's a big place and there's a lot of competition out there, so it, it, it's unlikely that's going to happen, but it could happen. Um, the more content you put out there, the better chance you have of getting people coming in through the search engines uh, and, that, and that's basically free money. You didn't spend any money to get that 
traffic and they're going to see your AdSense ads and they're going to see your affiliate affiliate ads or affiliate offers and they they may buy or they may click on some ads and whatnot. You're basically putting more more poles in the water. It's a fishing term. The more poles you can put in the water, if you're if if you're if you're fishing in a lake that has fish, five poles are just going to produce are going to produce more fish, more caught fish than one pole, unless you're an expert fisherman. And an expert fisherman can always outfish five amateurs. Just can. I've fished for a long time. I know this for, for a fact. Um, there are guys out there who are way better than me who who can catch. I mean, they could use a little kid's rod and reel, and they can catch more fish than I can with, you know, $300 worth of equipment. Um, so having said all that, and I'm not trying to belabor, belabor the point, get around 30 pieces of content out there before you start trying to monetize it, okay? And, and do that in a week, and it's, it's completely doable. You can write all the content yourself. You can pay somebody else to write it. You can do a hybrid of that, or you can buy some PLR stuff, which which is what I'm using for this site and which I'll use for a lot of other sites because I've acquired a lot of PLR content over the years, you know, last 10, 15 years. Um, and I have I happen to have quite a few articles on podcasting, and that's why I picked podcasting for this niche because I had the content. The content's going to be the big, biggest stumbling block for most people. Um, we can put up websites. We can add AdSense ads. Um, we can put affiliate offers up, but if we don't have any place to put those things, those offers and those ads, and that's the content, um, you're going to have a rough go of it. So create the content, pay somebody else to create the content, or kind of a, a secondary component of that is buy PLR, which is content created by others that is bought by others to use on their websites. You can spin it, you can rewrite it, whatever, but get it out there. All right. So um on the next video we're going to be talking about actually adding adsense and adding um affiliate offers but you need the content there to 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 place those offers all right so hopefully that helps you out in figuring out what to do about content uh, i've given you you know the the, the the magic number of of pieces of content to to have out there before you try to monetize all right um, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna fail if you only put one or two pieces of content out there. You're, and, and, you know, you don't, you don't need to spend a whole bunch of time and money putting a hundred or 200 pieces of content out there either. You, my experience has shown that you need about 30 pieces and 31 just works because I have a homepage. I have five sub pages and I, I, I'm sorry, I have five pages under that. And then I have five pages for each of those sub pages and it adds up to 31. So that's the minimum I do. Sometimes I do more. I, I rarely do less. Um, so that's my recommendation and I'll see you on the next video. All right. See you later. Bye.